question I get asked a lot on this channel is, should I start a song with a forward bow movement or a backward bow movement? So it's a bit complicated to um, describe this, but I'll do it as best as I can. First of all, if you have a teacher, um, they will tell you wh which way to start, forward or back. Um, uh, secondly, the reason I say that is because the teacher will know the sequence, the bow movement sequence within the, the tune um, and which way it's best to start. Now the reason, I'll try and break it down as best I can. You'll notice that in my tutorials I break down songs into parts. So basically the, there's certain sequences, bow, bow movement sequences in each part where forward or back is the preferred direction. Um, so that determines whether to start forward or back. So it's not necessarily you're starting forward because that first bow movement is preferred forward or back. It's more a case of what's happening down the track um, to give you that flow. And that's what this is all about. Um, it's all about flow, bow, the flow of the, the, um, the hand that holds the bow. Um, trying to get that sequence right, not only within that certain part that I talked about, within each part, but also to give you the flow for the next part, leading into the next part. So you want to finish, let's say, forward uh, on the first part. Let's say if you finish forward on the first part, um, that allows you to start back on the, on the next part, if that's the most appropriate way to start the next part. And quite often, um, you will be lifting your bow, let's say in the first part, if you, if you know you're going to finish back on the first part, and you should start back on the second part, what you'll do is you'll change your bow sequence in the first part. At some point, usually towards the end, you will lift it up, and let's say do, a, do two, forward back, two forward movements to allow you to finish forward, to allow you to start back on the next part. That's why it's a bit complicated. The easiest thing to do is just to listen to your teacher. Um, they will know what's best. Um, I always, I think I do, I always mention which way to start each of my tutorials. Um, and just to give a few examples now. So let's say we want to play the tune Ikore Bien Soparcada, which is a very popular one. We start forward with that. There's certain parts there where I'm trembling, um, where I want to be playing forward or back. So the first tremble is back, um, which is why I start forward, because the back tremble on this one, it just feels better um, for the player to play it on a backward bow movement. So we start forward on this. Now, what, what you might, may have noticed I did towards the end is I did two backward bow movements and I finished back, which allows me to start forward. So I'll do that again. Now, I finished back, which allows me to start forward again. Now, that's it's almost instinctive um, for the player. So once you get, get to a certain um, uh, level of knowledge, you will do that naturally. Because if I had a finished... <coughs> Excuse me, if I had a finish, I'd have to lift the bow and come forward again. So it's all about flow. Um, the only other thing I can say is the when you're playing, I'm obviously right-handed, it's just a bit like throwing the ball. You throw, you're sort of throwing that way. That's a bit more dominant in terms of your bow movement as well. And this is my interpretation, by the way. You might hear a different interpretation from a professional um, per, per, professional leader player. But I find that the forward, the forward is the dominant um, bow movement. The back is sort of like just a, you're just bringing it back so that you can come forward. So you're sort of like just, even though there are, there are some bits where you tremble on the back, I just find that the, the forward bow movement is the most dominant in playing the litter, which also determines, I think, um, which way to play certain trembles, um, but also 
again, there's backward bow trembles as well. Um, I'll do another song. Um, uh, so we play forward with this one. So we're finishing back. Well, that determines which way to start. I mean, we can easily start um, backward with this. But in terms of how it feels, um, it doesn't feel natural. And that could be a, a factor of me having been taught starting forward. But I just don't feel right um, starting backwards. I'd rather start forward. I find that forward, that tremble on the forward is easier and I think I can tr control it better when it's forward, whereas as I said before, some trembles are better coming backwards. I just find that's a better tremble and that determines which um, where to start. I'll just do one last example. Um, so this one's starting forward. So we're finishing forward again. It, it doesn't matter. This one's finishing forward and we start forward again. We can just lift the bow up. Slower tune, so it allow it gives you the time to lift it, lift the boat. But in terms of the sequences within that first part, so this is just one part. If I was to start backwards, immediately I don't feel right. because I, I corrected myself. Again, I'm not sure if I'm doing this because of habit. I've just, for years, I've been playing forward. Again, I'm finishing forward because I'm sort of, I know that I have to finish forward because I've been, I've just, habitually um, finishing forward. But again, that, it just didn't feel right for me. There's certain parts there where I just didn't feel comfortable playing a backward bow movement. Um, so that's my interpretation. It's a bit hard for me to describe because I'm <clears throat> obviously I've been taught to start tunes a certain way. But I think after a while, once you get to a certain level of um, expertise, you can decide what's the best way to start the tune. And it all has to do with flow. It's all about flow. The flow of the bow, the, the hand that holds the bow. Um, you want it to be nice and rhythmic. Um, you're not, you don't really, not many times you have to lift it up to come forward again, let's say, or backwards. It's all about flow, which allows you to concentrate more on this hand, because if this hand's flowing, if you think about it, you don't have to worry about which way this is going. You concentrate more on where your fingers are going. So. That's basically my interpretation of which way to start uh, a tune. But as always, you just listen to, um, especially if you're an absolute beginner, just listen to um, any of your teachers. And I'll, I'll try and do that on, on, on all my lessons. So anyway, I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.